Hello everybody, welcome back to Birdie Boots. So when I did my video of recreating the newbie's house from The Sims 1 and The Sims 4, I had a few issues with it. Um, number one, the furniture wasn't completely right. And number two, roofs, man. Fucking roofs. I cannot work out roofs to save my life, but thankfully, those of you guys, and I mean pretty much every single one of you, told me what I was doing wrong with the roof, so thank you. So before we begin today's video, which is me, uh, critiquing and hopefully fixing the Maxis created newbie family. I wanted to dive into the build that I did and rectify a few things. So first off, let's do the thing that all of you were pretty, pretty frustrated at. I didn't know that there were arrows where you could fix the roof, okay? I didn't know. I am learning, damn it. So let's see if you're right. So apparently it's these arrows and it lets you extend the roof a little tiny bit. Oh, would you look at that? There we go. That's the amount of difference that I needed. That was all I wanted. Okay, let's just do this one. Boom. Fixed. You can all stop being mad at me now. <laughs> oh, that looks so much better. That looks so much more realistic as well. <laughs> it looked so bad before. And another thing that you guys said, um, if you have the eco living pack, then one of the things that you can create in that pack is the original Sims table and chairs, apparently. Now, I'm not going to sit here and do a freaking six hour playthrough of me trying to work out eco living. But I've been told if you type in the cheat BB dot show hidden objects, then you can go to debug mode and you can just put the furniture in. So I'm gonna try that now. Can I, can I spell today? I can, I can spell, fantastic. There are, there are debug roofs, I, I, this game loses me, man. I don't fucking know shit. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. But what are those? What are those? What is that supposed to be? That is the most dubious food I've ever seen in my life. Gross, look, just a random head. That's it. That's scary. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. You can stay there. <laughs> Let's just type in chair. Hope for the best. There's gotta be something. Oh, I need help with this game. I, it's eco lifestyle. Sorry, I always say eco living. Doesn't everyone else? <gasps> there they are. There they are. Sorry, I didn't see them. <laughs> That head needs to go. I'm sorry, that is scaring the fuck out of me. Oh my goodness. But they're not, they're not the right color, which is ridiculous. All we needed was a red one. Guys, we just needed a red one. But no, absolutely not. I suppose that's gonna be the closest. Ah, oh, memory lane. So let's move all this stuff on the floor. All right, let's try a table. Give me what I need. <gasps> oh, it's not big enough, what the hell? You guys, are you guys, are you guys teasing me? They're not, it's just not big enough. It's tiny. The other one takes up way more room than that. And I wish I could just do that. <laughs> that would be great. Oh, that's, that's nowhere near as good as I wanted, guys. Letting me down, letting me down. It's supposed to take up four spaces. Oh, great. I think I'm just gonna undo it and then just leave the table as it was. There we go. I mean, it looks better than it was, it's just, it's just not as good, is it? Oh well. The chairs are cool though. I do like the chairs. Anyway, that just about wraps up this video. Thank you for watching. <laughs> All right, so let's head on back to uh, to the town of Newcrest. I don't want free earbuds. It's like it knows me. All right, we're gonna open the gallery. See, this is the family I'm talking about. So this family was made by Maxis. Um, I don't know if they still call themselves Maxis, but I guess, I guess they do in the gallery. But this is their official recreation of the newbie family and I think it's absolutely bloody awful. Not to be like every other sim YouTuber and just be like, why this pack is awful. But um, yeah, this, this is not a good recreation. <laughs> so obviously I can't edit their traits or anything, but I'm hoping I can at least edit their faces and their clothes because it's just not right. Also, they have a dog now, so. You can tell what pack was released when they did that. I might be alone in this, but I just, I literally do not play with cats or dogs really in this game. I don't think, I think they're kind of like the toddlers. They're just not really done th that well. They just, they just get sick all the time. All right, so this is the Bob and Betty newbie that Maxis thinks we want. They are just so, so inaccurate. Why, why does, why does Betty have a hat? Mm. 
if you know me, you know I have a bit of a vendetta against hats most days, but that is, that's just upsetting. Bob, you are looking way too too model-esque for me. Where is your dirty t-shirt? Where are your terrible jeans? Where is the dad bod? It's all bad. So, we're gonna fix it. Also, yes, I, I will get all the dog stuff. The dog is fine, guys. The dog's gonna be okay. Obviously, I didn't put a dresser in because they just, dresses did not exist in The Sims 1. But I'm gonna put one in now uh, just so that I can freaking change them out those hideous clothes. See, that one to me, that looks extremely Bob and Betty newbie to me. I'm just gonna stick it in the corner there. It's just, it's just so that we can change them. All right, Betty, let's go. Bobsonay's a torb. Where did I fucking ask? All right, so first off, first things first. No, get that shit away from me. For reference, this is what uh, Bob and Betty newbie look like. I know that we don't have like the best uh, resolution to go with, but I think you can see that that's that's not what Betty looks like. So first off, the hair is not too bad. I'm gonna see if there's one that's a little bit better. She needs a Karen haircut. She need that's quite Karen-ish. Mm, doesn't have the flick in the front, and I do really want to see that flick. That's quite cute. Maybe a bit too cute to be Betty Newbie. Come on, Karen, let's get our Karen out. That one's pretty nice. I, I guess we're probably gonna go with that one because it needs to be a side parting and it needs to have a bit of a flick in the front. So I, I reckon that's probably the best we can do. It's also the darkest we can get as well. There's not <laughs> enough hair colors in this game, I'm telling you. I think her lips need to be a darker color as well. How, how, how do I, how do I, Where's that? There it is. There it is. Found the makeup. Sorry. Guys, look, I'm really, I'm really not that good at this game. I've played it for so many years and I'm still so bad. Let's bring that color out. Oh, we popping now. Now we're cooking with gas. Although I would rather have like a darker, that kind of works. It needs to be like a dark reddy brown color. I think we're probably going to go with that. It's a little bit vampy, but... I think, I think it's probably the best we're gonna do. Her nose is way too buttony, but I oh, I can change things. Okay, cool. Her nose looks a lot sort of thinner. That looks a bit better. And she has a much longer sort of face. It's also not her skin tone. Her skin tone in this game is like a sort of pink undertone, but they gave her more of a yellow undertone. So I'm just gonna correct, correct that. Just need to bring these cheeks in. Girl, you got cheeks for days. And I, for one, am very jealous. She had a very, very thin chin. I think that's just because The Sims really didn't know what else to do. There we go. I, I think that's a bit more like what Betty looks like. Now then, clothing, the main thing that I want to correct. See if I can add, like, a filter for color. Is that a thing? Let's go with purple. Let's have a look-see. Because that, that is, that is, it's just heinous. I'm so sorry. That looks okay, but it's not accurate enough. That's, that's pretty spot on. No. No, nobody wear that. So there's just a regular t-shirt, but long sleeve would be a lot better. I think I'm gonna end up going with this one, guys. It doesn't look too bad. That's from uh, Strangerville, by the looks of it. Ooh, that's quite cute. Which one's better? I think just plain purple. I guess that kind of fits The Sims 1 vibe a little bit better. Just plain, as plain as you can get. All right, now she's wearing some like capri pants, which, you know, it's, it's, it's a look. So let's head on over to cropped. There we go. Now I just need a dark. No, I guess, I guess we can't have dark enough. They need to be like a darkish green color, like a sort of turquoisey dark teal look. And I'm not convinced I'm gonna find what I need. And not turn ups either. So, no, oh, no, no, I'm pressing, oh, she's pressing buttons again. All right, I think that's probably gonna have to do. Now, I have just taken the thighs down because unfortunately in The Sims 1, they are not as powerful. There was way less representation. So I'm just, I'm just trying to be a little bit more accurate. All right, accessories. No, no, face, face accessories. Why, why are all accessories in different places in this game? Like, just put all necklaces in one place, please. I'm begging you. Oh, that looks really, really similar. Yeah. I think that's gonna be the one, you know? Hmm, I think that's gonna be the boy. Now, those shoes, those shoes, they, they, they gotta go. This can be nice and easy if you let me. You can make this easy for me, Sims. No dark green. Okay. Well, I guess blue's gonna be as close as we can get. I really wish there were pointier ones that worked, but... And they'll have to do. So it looked like they pulled her in a little bit. She didn't have those voluptuous curves, which is, oh, it's making me sad. Making me sad. 
I think that's that's a bit more accurate to the Betty newbie from The Sims 1. I'm not gonna fuck around with any other outfits because I do not care. All right, one down, one to go. All right, Bob, it's your turn. All right, now, Bob, you need darker hair first off. You know what I mean. That's it. That's already a lot better. Now, Bob doesn't look like he even had eyebrows. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make them the thinnest possible so that we've got a pretty decent balance because I don't think we should make him eyebrowless. Let's just have them super thin. Is that binging with Babish? He seems to be frowning a lot more in the picture that I have. And his beard is also longer. Is there a longer version that doesn't look like Father Christmas? Because that's that's just a that's a bit absurd. That's that's a bit too far, Bob. I wish you could like just trim the beard a little bit though, like make it more pointy. Now overall, it looks like his cheeks come out a little bit further, but this side of his head comes in, but you can't do that. <sighs> trying to get those cheeks out. There we go. That's a, oh, he looks really evil. <laughs> I want the back of his head to come out a little bit. Can I do that? No, that's, that's just changing the whole thing, isn't it? Okay, now Bob in this game definitely has a stronger nose. So that's pretty good. That looks pretty headstrong to me. Yeah, that's a bit more like the Bob I know. All right, now this shirt situation is all kinds of wrong. We need just a plain t-shirt, preferably with stains on. Obviously, I know there's not gonna be any with stains on, but we can hope, we can dream. Come on, EA, give us some like perfectly imperfect stuff. Come on, not everyone is, you know, a model. Does anyone else find that their sims just look a little bit too perfect half the time? I mean, I mean, why is Bob so sculpted? Okay, I'm fixing that right now. Bob was known for his, his cute little tum. So, there we go. Uh -huh. Already that looks better. And there is no green shirt. <sighs> just need a plain t-shirt. Just a plain green t-shirt. Anybody? Anybody home? See, there's a green one, but it's a v-neck. Nobody likes v-necks. This is not the 90s anymore. Sorry to everyone who wears v-necks. I just, I, I, I cannot fuck with you. I'm so sorry. So we just have absolutely no green t-shirt representation. That's, that's a real shame. We've got like a jumper, but I don't want a jumper. And I don't want a fucking v-neck. I can see why they put that green t-shirt on him now. That like open shirt thing. What about this? Oh, hang on. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I needed. Thanks, EA. Because when you designed that, I bet you thought, hey, this one's gonna be used by everyone. No plain green t-shirt. You know what? You can keep your campaigns with Bone Hilda. You can keep your freaking cow plant petitions. All right, I want a green shirt. Just a plain green shirt that has not got a v-neck. That's my simmer petition. Okay, good, fantastic. Get on it. Justice for green t-shirt that doesn't exist. Please. He's not a slob in that. He's just a conspiracy theorist. Yeah. That's just, that's just fucking hideous. I'm gonna have to do it. But I don't want to. Bob would never wear an open shirt with another shirt underneath. Bob does not understand the concept of wearing two shirts at the same time. Also, he had way broader shoulders than The Sims 1. His forearms were juiced. Bring those bottom guns out. Now we gotta find some better jeans. Surely, please, for the love of God. There's gotta be one pack that's done them a bit better by now. They just look, they, they're, they're just upsetting, aren't they? Who is she? Who is she? Where did you find her? Ooh, you're close. It, that's that's the boy. That's the one. Please tell me that wasn't the one that he already had. <laughs> that's definitely it. That's way better. I'm I'm assuming they're different. As for these, these are not mm. these are not the loafers that they deserve to be. I need brown loafers. Stat. Yeah. There we go. There we go. I for one think that looks way, way more like him. I just, I just hate that shirt, man. I hate it. I want it gone. In fact, please don't just give me a plain green t-shirt, okay? Also delete that monstrosity. Okay, like I said, they have a dog now, so that's a thing. Also, I didn't, I didn't show you the traits that they gave them. They're, they're so weird to me. I just never would have imagined Betty as creative, unflirty, active. Like, none of those summed up the Betty that I used to play with. Okay, she was not doing fucking press-ups, feeling energized while the kitchen was on fire. They did get Bob a little bit more realistic, though. So we've got, we've got slob, lazy, and bookworm. So if you're gonna give me the slob trait and the lazy trait, give me a shirt with fucking stains on. 
please. All right, let's have a snoop. How's their relationship doing? Well, that's not a very healthy marriage, is it? You're supposed to be like un unbreakable. That's the dream, right? I wouldn't know. I have not been betrothed as of yet. Also, young adult. They made them fucking young adult. They are the oldest looking young adults ever. Okay, you know what? Let's just get the dog sorted so I don't have anybody on edge. This house was not built for a dog. Funny that. There we go. Have a ball. Can you tell I've never owned a dog? I, I don't... What do, what do dogs want? What, what, what are dogs after? How do I... How do I dog? What if... What if I... What if I get him like a box of... Of st stuff? Is that... Am I a dog owner now? Is that how it works? Have I dogged? Don't make a joke out of that. This house is so cramped, it's stressing me out. Oh, he's adorable. I love him. You know what? If you used... If you used the pet bed I gave you... We wouldn't have this space issue, buddy. Alright, well that just about does it for this episode. I feel like I spent a long time fixing Maxis's mistakes. I have done my best with what I was given. Um... <laughs> I don't know what else I could have done other than make them from scratch. So they're in an empty place. Newcrest has no builds in my game, sorry. But let me know if you would like to see me try and attempt some sort of let's play with this family. I don't know how interesting it would be. I mean, I guess I can make them like pop a kid out or something. I, I don't know. Ooh, I can make Bob an astronaut. I don't know why I thought that would be a good idea. He's like the least astronaut person. Anyway, guys, that just about wraps it up for this episode. I hope you very much enjoyed it. Don't forget to click the link down below to join my Patreon for just £1 a month. You get exclusive demos, early access. I also do exclusive videos and exclusive live streams on there. And I also take video requests. So I love our Patreon club so, so much. So if you do feel like becoming the newest member, then do click that link. Anyway, guys, until the next episode, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I shall catch you. Later!